Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a super cool card trick that I believe I first saw Steve Bridges perform a couple years ago. Um, and it's something that's going to take a little bit of practice, but with, you know, after a couple hours or so, you'll be pretty, you know, pretty solid at it. So, hope you guys um, enjoyed the video, and without further ado, here is the performance. Okay, so the way you start with the trick is just by having a spectator, you say, okay, go ahead and tell me when to stop whenever you want me to stop. Stop. Okay, so you say stop there, push those cards to the side, you give the deck, a little cut and then from here we're going to be left with this amount of cards and what we'll do is take the next we'll take the next four cards or so leave those on the table and then again what you're going to do is you're going to deal the cards down and then have the spectators say stop whenever they want so you tell your spectators okay go ahead and tell me when to stop stop okay so they said stop you want me to stop here or here here okay so yeah, we'll here. say stop there okay you pick these cards up you show these to the spectator and you say look so you went ahead and stopped me at one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total cards, right? So you had me say stop a bunch of times. At this time, you happen to say, you know, eight. And you flip over the top four cards that you put down before, and they were actually the four eights. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. So you start off, just take the four eights from the deck. You can do this with eights, um, nines, you know, even sevens if you want to. So it really is up to you, but essentially you just take a four of a kind out. In this case, I'll teach you with eights because that's what he does in the video. So you take the four eights out, you can put these on top of the deck, and you, know, you can go up to the spectator, you can shuffle the deck up, just keep the four eights on top of the deck, and then give the deck, you know, a little cut and keep a pinky break. So the first thing you do is you walk up to the spectators before you even go up to them, you know, you can put it into a pinky break. You have the deck, you have your pinky in the back, and below it you have the four eights. And then from here what you want to do is you have the spectators just say stop, you just take cards off the top and they are going to say stop whenever they want. And this is just to make the spectators think that they have a freedom of choice, but you just push off, you know, two to three cards at a time and they're never going to get down to that pinky break that you have, you know, back here, they're never gonna, you know, not gonna say stop. As long as you just do two or three cards, you know, let's say they say stop here, you say, okay, let's get rid of these cards, we'll give the deck a cut, and then you're gonna cut the deck from the pinky break, putting these four eights back on top of the deck. And then at this point, you just take the cards and you say, okay, you know what, let's go ahead and take the next, let's say four, and you just kind of fumble around just for like two seconds, say, actually, you know, let's take four cards, just to make it look really casual and you put those on to you know, the table like you didn't give it that much thought. Um, and the next part, this is where um, the complicated stuff happens. It's really not that complicated, but there's a few different scenarios, so I'm gonna go and work into the scenarios and show you guys how to do it. So obviously scenario number one, I'm gonna go and teach you the way this thing works. So the first thing you do is you tell your spectators that they are gonna tell you to say stop whenever they like. And you tell that to them as you deal down four cards. So you tell your spectators, listen, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and tell me to stop whenever you want me to, okay? So just go ahead and tell me when to stop. And at this point, right, you just put down four cards here because, and I'll leave a link to Fernando's channel where he kind of describes this a little bit better, but psychologically when you tell someone to say stop, you know, if you're dealing down cards, they're more than likely, like it's nine to ten times, and I did a video about David Blaine doing this, it's like 90% they're going to say stop at the fourth or the fifth card. So as long as you deal, you know, with this tempo, you know, just go ahead and tell me, you know, when to stop, you know, whatever you like. They're going to say stop at four or five. And this will work even if they deal down three, four, five, six cards extra. It will work, right? So let's say you've done the four cards and at this point, here are the different scenarios you're left with. So let's say the spectator deals, you know, they say stop on number four. Okay, well good, the trick is perfectly well done, and I, and I kid you not guys, you're going to do this to a bunch of different people, and they're going to say stop at exactly 8 cards. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the trick is done. Now in the performance when I did it, um, my girlfriend, she only stopped me at 3 cards. So let's say you say, okay, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, tell me when to stop whenever you like. Let's say the spectator stopped you at 3 cards. So... Okay, they say stop. All you have to do is you can spread the cards to them. No one's going to be able to glance and tell it's less than eight cards if you tell them. All you'll do is count an extra card. So you put them in a middle grip with your thumb at the back here and then your middle and your ring at the top and you slide over one card. So you count it as one and then as you put the rest of the packet over, you're going to catch this card with your thumb and your middle finger, right? So you slide it off go one and as you put it back 
you're going to grab it like that. So you're going to flush it out, and then you're going to grab it. So now you put that card underneath the pile. So you go one, put it back to the packet, and then count two. So now you're only holding one card again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, just like that. You know, you can show them and no one's gonna say anything. Boom, you have eight cards. All right, now the next scenario is, let's say the spectator goes over and counts um, a total of nine cards or 10 cards. Maybe even 11, I wouldn't stretch it that far. Um, so I would say, you know, if they're gonna, you can always have a backup trick in mind, but they're not really gonna go over, I would say five or six cards. So let's say, okay. So, all right, so just go ahead and tell me when to stop anywhere you like, go ahead, tell me when to stop. And you know, two, three, four, five, they say stop. All you have to do is pick up the deck from here. And obviously you have, you know, a total of nine cards. All you're gonna do is say, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, right? Reality, you have two at the back. So all you have to do is when you pick up the cards, you actually get a pinky break below the last two. So you have one, you have one card here, you have one card behind it, that's the ace. So you have two cards, and then you just hold it in that pinky break and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, just like that. And then you, know, you can spread out the cards, whatever. You wouldn't want to show them that last card, but you can spread them over like this and say, okay, eight cards. And then again, like I said, if they count an extra card, you would just do a triple. So this one, you know, like I said, beyond this, um, it wouldn't work as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. And you're actually holding three cards in this hand. Beyond that, I would say it's kind of unnecessary. You wouldn't be able to do it. You can if you're really good, but no one's really gonna actually count. I don't think so. So anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the trick. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the video because that will help me out. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching.